very new experience to participate in any event of Brahma Kumaris. Of course, sisters from this organization visit my organization different times. Perhaps since last three years they are visiting KIIT, interacting with me on different occasions. Uh, last two last month perhaps there was a grand function in Sahid Nagar, they also invited me. But uh, I am a little bit more engaged in academics and academic leadership so in the organization, so it was not possible on my part to participate. But uh, very truly speaking, uh, my experience with spirituality, my experience uh, with truth and belief, I can say that I am a very strong God-believing person. Of course, I don't that much believe that uh, we should be uh, we should uh, now we find most of the theories of management have mostly come from different mythological or spiritual concept. If we go through the theories of management of leadership, the controlling, the directions, you will, we find that most of those concepts have come from Gita. What we can clearly indicate and we can clearly, I can say that, correlate that. And lot many researches have already been made. Very recently one of my students was doing PhD on Jagannath Sanskriti. And how the temples were created, very, uh, I can say that scientifically, in different places, all the spiritual institutions were created in this world. And it was perhaps the evolution of organizational concept. While the people were not that much literate, there was not uh, established code of conduct for registering any company, any organization. At that point of time, the social leaders established the spiritual organization as such slowly the organizational concept evolved. They wanted to establish an organization. They wanted to establish the, a certain code of conduct which can bind the humanity and they can show them a path to lead a very disciplined life with peace and dignity and with mutual respect and everybody should contribute to their fullest strength and they should enjoy uh, enjoy their own result of their own talent according to their contribution so the, uh, the initiation of those spiritual organization my research said that it was initiated that concept and thought and in the uh, coming to the change management, while we talk about the change management, normally all the professors in change management, today we, while we go for the research of change management, always this concept is very much connected to the environment. All the, um, the essence of all the education, now all the researchers are trying to connect it to the environment. Of course, the education, the science, the management concept have evolved from the nature itself. Every day we see that in the, the morning is coming, then again night is coming, and we are slowly going through that changing phases. And today we, we find that in this stage we see not many many good flowers in the garden, and when just extend, Suddenly in the morning, one day morning I find all those beautiful, the largest flower, those who are looking so beautiful, one day morning we find that no, all the flowers are, uh, uh, they are dried and we are planning to just take it out and trying to put other seasonal, seasonal flower in that place. But we are not getting stressed out of that. Nobody is getting stressed out of that. It's because, it's because we are having the enough confidence that whatever the nature is doing, we are very much connected to that and we are having sufficient confidence in nature that whatever will be taking the place, it is asked for the time 
and requirement of the whole human being. And the people slowly get connected to that, they love it, they grow with that, again they enjoy their lives with time, with the whatever we get in the morning, whatever we get throughout the month, throughout the season, then a new thing again takes the place. But while we go through this transformational phase, I can say that we never meet with the stress, we never go for the conflict because it's very close to our heart and it's very close to our soul. Our soul recognizes that our soul has and this, this earth is created and it is not, this is a way of nurturing us. And in IT I can say the IT people those who are drastic change, uh, <coughs> changes have happened in IT sector and technology sector while uh, Lord King had laid off the British Airways, mostly in mid of 80s, the exact year I don't remember, perhaps it is 1984 and 85. While Lord King laid off the British Airways, British Airways was going through a very, I can say the very crucial phase. It was at the verge of closure, while he took out the charge in 1981. And while he took out the charge, and he took out took the drastic change to laying off the British Airways while his employee was around 59,000 and suddenly he got down to 39,000. People thought that, but really, he communicated the thing in such a way that it was convincing to all the people. While we said he was convincing to the, all the people, all the staff, all the stakeholders, the investors, that means it was convincing to our soul. The people were very much scared that they will be losing the job, they will be losing the whole industry, the one of the largest industries. But while he slowly did it and took up the charge and then in the suddenly in the next year, it may it was one of the most profit making airways of the world, then everybody accepted it nicely. But that transformation, he made it so smooth and communication was so transparent and it was touching to the heart of each one of the stakeholders connected to that, perhaps nobody reacted to that. Another one example I would like to give that was about our Larry Page, who is the founder of Google. Larry Page and Sargi, both of them are the founders of Google. When they introduced uh, Alphabet in, nine, in 2014 or 15, Larry Page had written a very good letter, good letter to all the stakeholders. He said that in the vision, and if you go through the vision and mission statement of Google, we have written that Google is not a conventional industry and we don't want to be one of them. And why we don't want to be one of them and why we see the movement of technology, it is now, it's not in the incremental phase. If we go for the incremental changes of any technology, if you go for the incremental changes of any governance process, maybe after few months, it's not taking nowadays years, after few months, two months, three months, four months, we find that we are obsolete. People are not ready to accept this. So why do we go for the technology transform, technology changes, always the situation demands that we should go for a severe transformation. The new technology should take the place. And we always, always think about the disruptions, not the incremental changes, just some features are added. Then people do not accept this. You see that whenever the new iPhones are taking the place in Google, Google search was there, then we find the YouTube now. Lot many services are there available in Google. Nobody, there is no connection between two services. Not that much connection that this incremental changes has happened in Google search. So this product has come. That has never happened. If you see the mail and WhatsApp, they will be objectively same. We, you can say that we are only communicating the message, but the technology in mail, technology in WhatsApp, it's totally different. So it's Larry Page had written that the why do we shall go for the uh, why do we go for innovations, why do we go for the transformation, we all should be mad, we all should be crazy. What is that craziness? <coughs> craziness craziness is the listening to the soul. When the other people in and around you, or uh, anyone who thinks just, uh, I can say that in the routine way, they cannot force that. Maybe because of that in management, we say that it take, takes some time, normative time. 
So the people just tried to become, try to fight, try to uh, make lumping exercises in their brain and also in the real life. They <coughs> the rally page wrote to all the stakeholders, if you go through that later you'll find that it's so soul touching, so heart touching that everybody would believe in his concept, believe in his words that whatever he's doing, it will take Google to the next level and nobody should bother for that. I mean, of course, you are a great leader, he has given the technology like Google to the world so people have to believe on him and just, just be, after one year of establishment of Alphabet, while Google was slowly sinking little bit, we are given the whole chance to Sundar Pichai. We are seeing that it's one of the most leading company. It's going to first. So it happens. So it happens that how we are really accepting the changes and how we are communicating, how we are touching the hearts. Of course, while it happens in nature, while automatically it's touching our heart, perhaps that's the sense of spiritual agent. While we are learning to lead our life, to live our life through nature, through changes. And maybe from Sister Samita, we all will be learning that while going through the changes, <coughs> the profession, slowly we also would learn to go in that change. In KIT also, I will share my experience. That was started in 1992. Our honorable founder started in 1992, 5,000 rupees. I joined in 1996. <coughs> so from 96, we applied for starting of the engineering college, the management college, MCA college, and then you see today is 2020. And today this is one of the most promising university of the country. It is one of among the top best 20 universities of the country. We have got the Institute of Eminent Startups. You see, out of nothing. Just in 25 years, the institute, it has been transformed to an institute of eminence. And the people, we now, this institution is being projected by government of India to the world that it has the capability to be one of the world class universities. We are among top 1000 universities in the globe. Now government of India is telling you have to be among top 500 in the next 5 years. After giving the institute of eminence status, some targets have been given to the university. So we are also trying to cope with that change. You think that we joined nothing, only perhaps no land was there also in KIT. There were two rented buildings. We just completed our meeting. Now, not only me, like me, uh, 10, 15, 20 people. We thought that let's see what is happening. Let's apply. If approval is coming, it's fine. Of course, everybody had confidence in the words of the founder. So what, what is that confidence? That's the belief of the soul. And whenever he says, yes, if it will be given the university status, you all should not be worried. You only do your work. And we find after some time that yes, we have done that. So that confidence, while we see that our efforts have given us some result, that slowly that confidence is built up among all of us. Not only with me, all the staff, all the students in the organization. So the all stakeholders start believing us. So in that way, when we start believing, then the truth then we search for the truth, then truth is established. Maybe from the deliberation of Sister Savita, we all will be learning that how to modulate our inner technology that we can search for the truth and how to build up the way to connect to the truth and to enjoy that, to enjoy the fullest form of ourselves. I hope all of you will be getting the way for that. When we all Take for your advices and your talks and I will try to be here for next half an hour if my next meeting is not uh, shifted but if you excuse me, we will be up with something. Thank you.